What's up, babes? It's Curly to Victoria. I am back with another video. I am shooting back to back videos today. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe. I was about to butcher that word up. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. So we're gonna get right into the video. We're not even gonna cut, we're gonna cut straight to the chase, okay? This is your girl's hair. It's half up, half down. And this is where we where we sitting pretty at right here. girl because these inches are looking like once the weight loss start to happen and the hair keeps growing it ain't nothing nobody gonna be able to tell me okay because look, i know y'all see the inches as we stated before your girl is turning five years on this lock journey in um july so july 1st 2024 we will be five years locked and then i will be headed toward year six so you already know your girl hair is about to we're going for waist length slash butt length that's where we're going for when it comes down to my locks now i do think it's possible for my longest parts of my locks to actually hit my lower back by the end of year six maybe even going into year six because honestly like a month and three three months in a year right now like a year and three months right now my hair can grow significantly like especially the way i take care of it I will not be surprised if my longest pieces of my hair right there are touching my lower back down here by the end of year five going into six. But I'm just going to say by the end of year six, because that almost gives me a full year five, a full year six, that's two years. I literally can be at my lower back. So we're going to keep it pushing. We're definitely going to keep it pushing. I told you all that I will be having my locks a minimum of seven years. Okay. As of right now, I don't see myself wanting to change my hairstyle, like change my locks. But this is, like I said, this is about to be year five. I don't know what I will feel two years from year five, but I know as of right now, I will minimum have my locks seven years. That's how long I'm planning to minimum have my locks. So, bruh, let's just, let's just, let's just cut to the chase. The inches are real. <laughs> I literally cannot stand myself when it comes down to my hair. Because if you know me, I'm going to talk a whole game up about my hair. Now, I do want to do a retwist. Or if I don't do just like a normal, just like a regular standard retwist, I was going to do a braid out or a two strand twist. Just so that I can have my hair sectioned off and I can actually focus on a retwist. Then I also thought about the other day, maybe I should band tune out my hair and wear it curly. Or, you know, I do have perm rods, but I don't know if I have enough perm rods to actually do all of my hair. So if I perm rod, I know sometimes people be taking like one lock and perm rodding, but I would have to retwist like three or four and then perm rod on one rod because I don't have enough rods and my rods are small. But I know that Faith and some other people, I can't remember who all, but I tell you, it's about three people, four people who said they wanted to see my hair curled like in perm rods or pipe cleaner type of looks now i'm not really pipe cleaners i think i tried those a long time ago like years ago when i had my first set of locks patience now i do foresee myself as my hair gets longer if i'm not doing band two knots braid outs and two strand twists i could go back to the flexi rods because flexi rods are you know they can give you a good little curl as well but as of right now i'm not really in my first years of my locks, like my first five to six years, I never really wanted to manipulate my hair too heavy because I do understand that I want to have my hair for a while. So if I'm constantly doing braids and I'm doing styles that are so tight around my edges all the time, I ain't gonna have no edges. And I'm not, and then I'm gonna have a receding hairline. So I've been making sure that I've been like putting oil and things like that at the center of, you know, my ponytails. And just like when I oil my hair, just giving extra attention to the spaces that have tension, taking care of all of my hair, but also just making sure that, hey, if my hair tie, this is not one of those hair ties that pull your hair. It's literally the material will not snag your hair. You know what I'm saying? So when you take it off, you won't have hair all in the hair tie. It's literally a kind of like a protective hairstyle. I mean, a protective hair band for my hair. But like I said, when it's time to 
oil my hair, moisturize my hair, I'm definitely making sure that I'm giving a lot of tension, attention right here because there is a lot of tension that goes there. My hair is typically always down or half up, half down, or I might pull a ponytail, right? And because of that, that means that those places are likely to go weak or be brittle or whatever the case may be because those are the points in which you always are touching. So for me, I'd rather just make it a routine to do these things on a regular. That way I don't have to wait till one day. I'm like, oh, all of this is so weak because I never paid attention to that early on and did anything about it. So I have some people who, you know, they want to style their hair every other week, baby. And they ball headed every other week. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me, but I'm just saying. You have to be understand that, like, I guess when you're, when you are, when you embrace your natural hair, you're okay with it not being done perfect every time. I'm, I do not always like a fresh looking retwist. I know people love a fresh retwist, but for me, I'm okay with the days where I slick my hair up and do my edges or I just go about my day. I don't have to have a fresh retwist every week. I just don't. So it gives more free, you know, free spirited look when it's not always so, so done. Now, don't get me wrong. When I do my hair, it's going to be done. But when it's chilling, it's chilling because I, I embrace my natural hair. So I don't have to feel like, oh, it has to be perfect every time for me to actually enjoy what I look like with my natural hair. You know, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I'm good with that. But, baby, when I tell you this hair is growing, it is growing. Now, by the end of the year, I did say by year five, I wanted to do an ACV wash. And I wanted to re-up on my jet black. I don't know if I'm going to do an ACV wash this month. But if so, I will do it before I hit year five. And then I probably will re-up my jet black. Now, summer is here, and I am planning to probably be in somebody's pool taking a swim. And if I'm going to do that, sweetie, if I'm going to do that, then that means that I can't be dyeing my hair as often during the summer to, like, re-up on the jet black. But just to give you guys an update on everything, my hair is healthy, long. Like, look at all that. That's all new growth. All of this. But anyway, like I mentioned, y'all, because my storage keeps filling up, all of that is new growth, and then that's some of the edge control that you can see right there, so that's not, like, build up or anything. That's just edge control, and sometimes that edge control mixed in with my brush, if I don't clean the, like, wash the brush out all the way, it will create, like, a residue look. So that's why you kind of see a little white in my hair, but all of that's new growth. You feel me? All of that, just look. Now, I'm not one to do interlocking. Like, I think interlocking does make the hair stay tighter and it could appear neater. But if you interlock too much, you might end up with a headache, sis, if you interlock and it's too tight. Because then, just like braids, you have to wait for it to loosen up before it relieves your headache. Mm. And then also, I just feel like in the future, if I ever wanted to go back to loose natural, at least I know that I've taken care of my hair well enough to where I can actually comb these out if I felt like it. That's literally what it, I would like to do if it all came down to it. Now, if I feel like I just need to start the journey over, then yeah, I'll cut all my hair, start over. But if I feel like, like, like when I say start the journey over, like if I decide to get rid of my locks at some point and I don't have locks anymore and I don't wanna comb them out. I don't mind like cutting my hair and starting over if that's where I feel like I'm at. But if I'm in a place where I'm like, girl, I'm gonna preserve all this hair. Life has been good. I'm gonna comb these bad boys out. I know it's a lot, but yeah. Let me let y'all get a closer look. As it's growing, you can kind of just really see the length and the sizes. I do have different size locks and I knew that when I started them. And I think that's why I do like my hair because there's like three different size locks in, in my hair. And I love that for me. It balances out very well and it makes my hair a healthy, like it's a healthy amount, but it also just like lets it lay and flow a lot better being that it's different lengths. I mean, different sizes. So I don't know what works for me. So you gotta decide what works for you. But that's my little hair update on a fry eye 
Friday, Friday, um, Friday. Uh, <laughs> I need a nap, but I'll see y'all in the next video. Brix is looking sleepy. I'm talking sleepy. We will talk to you later, won't we, boo-boo? Let me not get him hyped. He just has some treats, and he is about to take a nap. Like, he trying not to take his eyes off of me, and that's why he's not asleep. But his eyes are going like this. And y'all know, he's sleepy. I'll see y'all beautiful in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe.